Hello, my name is Oksana. This is Amalinga.com. Today we are talking about Mardi Gras. This is the holiday. We are going to talk about holidays. So if you have time, please join our discussion. Now we are making the pause while the students are gathering to today's class. Hello, Michael. How are you? Hello. Hello, Oksana. How are you? How was your day? I'm fine. Uh, it was a rest day. I in in a center. Here. I see today is Sunday, the end of the day of uh, this weekend. I hope that uh, this weekend was uh, nice and interesting for you, wasn't it? Yeah, like. <laughs> By the way. Yeah, uh, it's uh, like usual, but today it's a good day. Yeah. Good. By the way, what's your favorite holiday? We are often talking about holidays, and today we are also going to talk about it. Maybe New Year. I New Year, yes. So today we are going to talk about such a holiday as Mardi Gras. Have you ever heard about this holiday? Uh, uh, um, I heard uh, something like that, but uh, I don't remember what, what does it mean. So today we'll learn some more facts about this holiday and we'll discuss this holiday in more detail. Here is the handout for you. Please click on the link and open the site, this file. Mm -hmm. Can okay. you open it? Um, wait, wait a second. Yes, sure. Uh, I open it. Yes. So we've got the text about this holiday. There is the history about this holiday and the details. Uh -huh. Let's read about it. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Mardi Gras, yes. Um, uh, S is not pronounced because it is of the French origin. It is the word of French origin. And yeah. S is not pronounced. Mardi Gras. S is not pronounced. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, um, like many other holidays and festivals observed globally today, Mardi Gras has its uh, roots in Christianity. Uh, the, the French term uh, Mardi Gras translated translates. Uh, uh, to Fat Tuesday, uh, and uh, refers especially to the last day before Lent. Lent is a period uh, prior to East uh, when Christians traditionally fasted. Fast, fasted, yes. Yes. Uh, and. Um, uh, uh, and um, I'm sorry, um, uh, and um, giving up a particular food or, or uh, wise such as smoking or, or eating sweets is more typical today. Yeah. Uh, second, uh, as, as the lens of uh, Mardi Gras celebrations were very. There is. Various, depending on where the celebrations are held, uh, while some uh, party uh, parties last uh, a day, two, others for 
uh, 46 exciting days. Traditionally, the uh, observance uh, began on Epiphany, uh, also known as uh, 12th night, and they ended uh, just before then. Uh, in the Christian tradition, Epiphany is uh, the 12th day after Christmas when uh, the kings uh, arrived at Jesus' birthplace. Uh, Fat uh, uh, Tuesday is also called Pancake Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday? Uh, or Shore uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, the following day, in, uh, known by Christians as Ash Wednesday, um, it is the first day of Lent. Yes, thank you. I suppose that it is a little bit difficult for you to read it. We've got the podcast and maybe we could listen to it and you could follow. Okay? Okay. Good okay. point. This podcast is brought to you by ESL Library. For specifically to the last day before Lent. Lent is a period prior to Easter when Christians traditionally fasted. Giving up a particular food or vice, such as smoking or eating sweets, is more typical today. The length of Mardi Gras celebrations varies depending on where the celebrations are held. While some parties last a day or two, others run for 46 exciting days. Traditionally, the observance began on Epiphany, also known as Twelfth Night, and ended just before Lent. In the Christian tradition, Epiphany is the twelfth day after Christmas, when the kings arrived at Jesus' birthplace. Fat Tuesday is also called Pancake Tuesday or Shrove Tuesday. The following day, known by Christians as Ash Wednesday, is the first day of Lent. The term Lent actually translates from Old English to mean the season of spring. Having a festival just before spring is typical of many religions and cultures. If you've ever been to a Mardi Gras celebration, it may surprise you that such a party could have a religious background. Festivals and carnivals that take place before springtime are filled with extravagance and mystery. In fact, it is believed that these circus-type festivals existed before Christians adopted them and that they were toned down to fit the faith. Over time, the festivals grew wilder again, and eventually the religious aspect lost its significance. One common element of carnival celebrations worldwide is the parade. These massive spectacles have been popular in the United States since the 1700s, when French explorers brought their traditions with them from Paris. To this day, the Mardi Gras parades in America are organized by private clubs called crews. These secret societies hide behind masks as they parade down the streets of cities including New Orleans, Louisiana, and Mobile, Alabama. The more exclusive crews are made up of relatives from previous generations and often have high membership fees. The fees are used to pay for the decorative floats. In New Orleans, there are three special colors associated with Mardi Gras, and each color has a symbolic meaning. Green symbolizes faith, purple symbolizes justice, and gold symbolizes power. Costumes, decorations, and beaded necklaces of these three colors are prevalent throughout Mardi Gras. Besides the beads, other special souvenirs, such as coins and hand-decorated coconuts, are thrown out to the parade watchers from the partiers on the floats. Items that are tossed into the crowds are called throws. In Rio de Janeiro and other parts of Brazil, this Lenten celebration is known as Carnival. Often dubbed the greatest party on earth, Carnival in Rio features a two-day samba school parade. Thousands of travelers from around the world visit Rio for this spectacle, including celebrities who celebrate from VIP balconies along the parade route. The singers and dancers in the parade wear feathers as a symbol of Brazil's ability to overcome troubled times. Judges are placed at various points along the route to determine which school deserves the highest marks. 
Festivals like Mardi Gras are not necessarily tied to spring. Canadians celebrate Carnival at an annual winter festival in Quebec City that coincides with Mardi Gras. Winter Carnival in Quebec is the largest of its kind in the world, with close to one million attendees each year. Rather than feathers and beads and coconuts, it features an ice castle and a winter amusement park for the whole family. Activities include sleigh racing, ice sculpting, and dog sledding. Well, was it interesting to listen to the podcast about this holiday? Yeah, but uh, it's hard to understand because uh, I don't know this holiday is like uh, Easter and uh, it's hard to remember uh, it's celebrated, yes, and uh, you know, it's, it's hard to understand what about we're talking. Yes, I see. Yes, I know. I understand. We've got one more student. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm oh, fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Could you please introduce yourself? Tatiana. I beg your pardon? Um, my name is Tatiana. Tatiana. Yes, Tatiana. You're welcome to today's class. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Belarus. Belarus. Have you ever visited our classes before? Yes, I was before. That's great. Uh, so, Tatiana, today we are talking about holidays. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas, I think, yes. What yeah. memories? Christmas, right? Yeah. What memories do you have uh, connected with this holiday? Uh, do you like these holidays uh, for, for a long time? A long time? Mm -hmm. Do you remember this uh, holiday since your uh, childhood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever heard about the holiday called Mardi Gras? Mm, no. So today we are talking about this holiday. We have read the text and here is the handout for you. Click on the link and open it. Yeah, I can open it. Yes. Yes. Good. So uh, maybe it would be better for us to read it, Michael. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tatiana, you're welcome to start. Okay, thank you. Mighty great. Uh, like many other holidays and festivals observed globally today, Mighty Grace has its roots in uh, Christianity. 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 The French term Mighty Grace. Uh, translates to fat music and refers specially, uh, specifically to the last day before Lent. Lent is a period uh, prior to Easter when Christians traditionally fast, uh, giving up a particular food or uh, wise such as smoking or eating sweet. It's more typical today. The length of Mardi Gras and celebrations vary depending on where the celebrations are held. While some parties last a day or two, uh, others run for 46 certain days. Traditionally, the observ uh, observance, observance began on, uh, on Epiphany. Epiphany, also known uh, as Rose Night. Ended just before Lent. In the Christian tradition, uh, tradition, Christian, Christian tradition, Christian, Christian tradition, uh, is, is the twelfth day, day of, after Christmas when the kings arrived. The kings, kings arrived at Jesus' birthday. Uh, Fat Tuesday is also called Fasting Tuesday or uh, um, so. Tuesday. Uh, the following day is known by Christians as uh, uh, Wednesday is the twelfth day of Lent. Yes. Uh, the term Lent actually, uh, actually transfers okay. from Old English to mean the season of spring. Having a festival just before spring is Typical to many. Typical. 
of many re uh, religions uh, and, religions. Cultures. and cultures. If you have ever been to a Mardi Gras celebration, it may surprise you that such a party could have a religious background. Festivals and carnivals that take place before spring uh, springtime are filled with extravagance and mystery. Extravagance and mystery. And mystery. In fact, it is believed that these uh, circus type festivals excite before Christian uh, Christians adopt them and uh, that they were turned down to fit the faith. Over time, the festival grow, uh, grow, grow there again, and eventually, the religion suspect lost its, its uh, significance. 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 Uh, thank you, uh, Michael. Go on, please. Uh, uh, one common element of carnival, uh, carnival celebrations worldwide is the, is the parrot. Parade. Parade. Uh, these massive spectacles uh, have been popular in the United States since uh, the 70th uh, century. You know, uh, yes. How to say? Uh, right. Uh, when French explorers? No, no. How to say this? Uh, 17th century or 1700? Uh, maybe uh, 18th century. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, how to say uh, 1700s? Yes. Or oh, 1700. Yeah, when French explorers uh, brought the expeditions with them uh, to Paris, from Paris. Uh, this day, uh, the Mardi Gras parrots uh, in America are organized by the uh, club called Cruz. Uh, this secret uh, associate is a uh, file behind marks uh, as a parade. And down the street of the cities, of cities including New Orleans, Indiana, uh, and uh, Mobile, Alabama. Uh, as a more exclusive Viewers, viewers uh, are made uh, are made up of relatives from various uh, generations, and uh, often have tight membership fees. Uh, the fees are used to pay for the decorative work, uh, decorative work, and. Uh, in New Orleans, uh, uh, <laughs> in the New Orleans, there are three special colors uh, colors associated with Mardi Gras, and uh, each color has a uh, symbolic uh, meaning. And green symbolizes fight, purple symbolizes justice, and gold symbolizes power. Uh, costumes, decorations, and uh, beaded. A necklace uh, of these three colors are prevalent, um, prevalent, prevalent, pre prevalent. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, how? Throughout. Throughout. Mardi Gras. Uh, besides, uh, there are the special souvenirs such as uh, a co uh, such as coins and hand decorated uh, coconuts are th thrown uh, out uh, to the parrot watches from the um, from the uh, bodies uh, on the floor. Uh, items uh, that are toasted into the uh, crowds are called troughs. Troughs. Uh, in Rio de Janeiro uh, and other parts of Brazil, uh, these Lenten uh, uh, celebrations um, is known as Carnival, uh, often dub, uh, dubbed 
as the greatest party on Earth. Earth. Uh, Carnival in Rio uh, features a two-day samba school spirit. Uh, thousands of trailers from around the world visit Rio um, uh, for, for this uh, spectacle, uh, spectacle uh, including celebrities, celebrities who celebrate from VIP balconies along the per parade road. Uh, the uh, singers and uh, dancers uh, in the parade were uh, f uh, f features, yes, uh, as a uh, symbol uh, of Brazil's uh, ability to overcome troubled times. Um, uh, judges uh, are placed at various points uh, along the road to determine. <laughs> Um, which schools deserve the highest marks? Yes. 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 Uh, Thank you, Tatiana. Tatiana, you need to turn on your microphone before reading. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. This is also my first one. Can I just celebrate carnival at an an annual winter festival in Quebec City that um, coincides with Mardi Gras. Winter Carnival is a Quebec is the largest of its kind in the world with, with close to one million attendees each year. Rather than feathers uh, and beds and coconuts, it features an ice castle and a winter um, amusement, amusement park for the whole of family. Activities include sleigh racing, ice sculpting, and dog sledding. Yes, thank you. Have you ever heard about the carnival in Brazil? Yes. Tatiana? Yes. Yes, I heard, but I don't know a lot of it. A lot of what? A lot of it. I don't know a lot. A lot about it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this carnival is uh, connected with the celebration of Mardi Gras holiday. And uh, now I'd like you to answer the questions that are after the text. So what language does the term Mardi Gras come from, Michael? In, in the book it's French. Yes. And it, it means Fat Tuesday. Yeah, right. Okay. Next question. Why is Ash Wednesday mentioned in the reading, Tatiana? Do you hear me? Uh, mentioned? Yes. Is remembered. Is Ash Wednesday is mentioned or is remembered because it's the first day of Lent or the first day of after Mardi Gras. Do you agree? What is the Ash? Ash, yeah. ash is uh, the thing that remains after the fire. It is Ash. Uh -huh. yes. Zala. Yes. Zala? Zala. Yes. Question number three. Who brought the Mardi Gras celebration to America? Michael? Celebration to America. Maybe the people probably located. I don't remember this part. Maybe the people to relocate the United States from France. Yes, you're right. French explorers brought the, their tradition to America. And uh, after that, this holiday began to be celebrated. Question number four, Tiana. Uh, what are the private Mardi Gras clubs in the Yes. Uh, So the private party gras clubs in America are called 
proofs, proofs from the text. Do you remember? Uh, where's it? More or where is this information? In it is in the text. Yes, yeah. but in part four. Okay. You have to remember about this, okay? Question number five, Michael. Number five. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, what does a purple goat symbolize? Uh, uh, purple symbolize. Uh, so there are different colors, and each color symbolizes different thing, judging from the text. So purple symbolizes. Okay, justice. justice. Yes, exactly. You're right. Thank you. Okay. Number six, Tatiana. Uh, number six. Uh, what is the carnival in Rio de Janeiro often called? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, is the greatest battle on years? Yes, you're right. Absolutely, I agree with you completely. Indeed. Number seven, Michael. Where do celebrities typically, uh, typically go to watch the sound of parrots? Parrots. Parrots. Uh, the celebrities uh, typically go to watch the parrot on the VIP balcony on the parade route. On the houses around the world. Yes. So yeah. celebrities typically watch the samba parades from the VIP balconies along the parade route. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. Number eight, Tatiana. What does the lizard atoms symbolize? Feathers. Feathers. Feathers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feathers. Feathers. In Brazil, okay. usually symbolize the ability to overcome troubles and troubled times. Right? Troubles, problems, different problems. Ability to overcome, to win over the problems and troubles in difficult times. Mm -hmm. Did you know about that? No. No, it's interesting, right? Yes. Number nine, Michael. Number nine. Uh, uh, where is the world's most famous winter carnival? In Quebec City, Canada. Mm -hmm. You're right. Number 10, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. oh, what type of things do people do at this winter carnival? Winter carnival? What can we enjoy during the winter carnival? Uh huh. Um, Line racing, ice sculpting, yes, and dog sledding, yeah. Sledging, ice sculpting, and sleigh racing. You're right. Good of you. Now, the active vocabulary from the text. I know that the text is really very difficult, and you may really not understand all the words, but try to understand the, the meaning, general uh, message of the text. And this is important because you try to, to learn how to do it. And now the active vocabulary, that is exercise E, match the words on the left with the correct meaning on the right. Roots and uh, the definition of it. So what is it, Tatiana? Roots? Uh, roots is, um, it's uh, corny. Corny. Corny, yes, you're right. And the, uh, definition or the synonym for it is maybe uh, a region uh, yes. where something is 
or someone began. Yes, you're right. Origin. Origin, place where something or someone began. You're right. Fasted. Number two. If all will fast or no. Stopped eating for a period of time. Fast. Yes. Uh, is the verb. <coughs> is uh, the period of time when you prefer not to eat uh, different things. For example, meat. Uh -huh. Post. Yes. Oh, in in yeah. religion. Fast is forced? Fast. Yes, too fast. Is a verb. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. Vice number three. Michael. Three. I don't know. Vice. Uh, maybe something like. Unhealthy habit or tendency. Плохая привычка или тенденция? How to say it in Russian? Недостаток. Vice. Extravagance. Татьяна? Four. May a very noticeable or common A quality of excess more than necessary. Extravagantness, we've got it in Russian language. Right? Number five, toned down. Michael? Number five, to be toned down. Uh, I don't know. Five. Can you guess? Uh, Tone down. Make uh, something less noticeable or bright. Затушевать. Uh, как uh, Tone down. Tone is the the color, and tone down when we try to hide something. Спрятать что-то. При помощи цвета. Next word is significance, number six. Significance, it is? No. Importance. Yes. Significance, importance. Важность чего-то. Significance of something and importance of something. They are synonyms. Do you understand, Tatiana? Yeah. Okay. Next word, Michael. Exclusive. Number seven. Uh, maybe uh, uh, like, uh, only available for a person. Select person, group, or time period. Yeah. Float, Tatiana, number eight. I don't know this word. Float. Yes. Float. Uh, Decorated vehicles that parade participants ride on. It is floats. Okay. Uh, what means uh, um, word number two? We vehicles? Vehicles? Decorated what? Vehicles. What so what is vehicle, Michael? Can you help? Something like machine. Or, uh, machine. It's, it's a machine. Uh, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Tatiana, do you hear Michael? Uh, yes, but I can't understand. Yes, I don't understand. Machine. Vehicle is machine. Uh, yes. Средство передвижения. Uh-huh. Floats. Uh, yes. And maybe it's better to find the translation for it. Yes? That's right. Uh, I translated it by upload. Yes, what is it? Float. 
float. So in this case, it's the thing or a kind of a machine that people uh, use uh, while uh, the carnival takes place. They can dance on it. Oh, okay. They can uh, show their costumes and uh, yes, something like that. Thank you. Okay, next word is faith. What is faith? Number nine, Michael. I have no idea. Maybe it's Vera. Vera, strong belief in something is faith. Justice, Tatiana, what is justice? Do you know the translation? No, I don't know. Spravedlivost, justice. And in the, our case, it is fairness. They are synonyms. Justice and fairness. A. Justice, spravedlivost. Fairness, chestness. Chestness, spravedlivost. Okay. Next word, Michael, you're welcome. Prevalent. Uh, Number 11. Yeah. Yes, I understand it's something which uh, is bigger than other uh, words. Like something very noticeable or common yeah. is prevalent. Prevaliru yeshchiye in Russian, right? Yeah. To toss, toast. Yana, toss. Number 12. 12. Mm. Перемешивать. Throw casually. Подбрасывать, yes. Toss. Dub, dubbed. Michael, number 13. Do you know the meaning of it? Dubbed. 13. Maybe not. Dubbed. Nicknamed. To have a nickname to, to be dubbed. dubbed uh, like nicknamed. A, it is name. letter N. Nicknamed. Yes. Give a name to somebody or something. Nicknamed. Do you understand? No. Uh, give me an example. Uh, it's. Давать кому-то кличку. Прозвище. It's dubbed. Dubbed. Okay. Fourteen balcony. Michael? Uh, it's a part of a uh, house. Next. It, it, it's yeah. like a place uh, on a house uh, or in a flat without a roof and... Uh, Good. Amusement yeah. park. And the walls, yeah. Good. Amusement park, what is it? Amusement park... Uh, Amusement park. Hard to say. A place to enjoy rides, games, and other fun activities. Uh, which letter? G. Uh -huh. Park развлечений. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Choose the words with the closest meaning to the underlined word in the following sentences. So, Tatiana, turn on your mic and get ready to do this exercise. Number one is yours. Tatiana, do you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, uh, First sentence. Number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Minute nickels are prevalent on the streets of New Orleans during Mardi Gras. Prevalent. Oh. Decorative, found frequently, or a shade of purple. What do you choose? Found frequently. Uh, Right. Found frequently, yes. The synonym yeah, is found yeah, frequently. Yeah. Do you know what, what is it frequently? Chasta. Find, found, found. 
находить часто, которые можно часто встретить на улицах Орлеана, Нового Орлеана. Good. Next, Michael. Uh, the samba dancers, uh, dancers uh, had faith uh, that the school would win the contest. Would win the contest. Mm -hmm. Wish, yeah. suspicion, or a strong belief? A strong belief. Strong belief, yes, I agree. Number oh, three. Yeah. Suspicion. Yes. Michael, do you know the translation? No, no. I never heard it before. Подозрение. Подозрение. Uh -huh. okay. Suspicion. Good. Do you understand it? Mm -hmm. Next one, Tatiana. Oh, the wise cow chose to give up during land was eating potato chips in front of the TV. It's a bad habit. Bad habit, good of you, well done. Next one for Michael. Uh, the last few uh, uh, in the third book, the dub, uh, it's a strong group. Yes, named, denied, or topped. Yeah, it, it's like named. Named, you're right. Tatiana? The coconut was tossed into the crowd from the flood. I think it's um, um, brought, taken, or thrown. Tossed. Um, well, broken. Yes. Bro mm. Do you understand the sentence? Yes, but uh, what means number C in C? See, thrown, broshen, brasat, throw, through, thrown. It is the third form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you choose? Number C. C. Oh, letter yes. C. Good, yes, you're right, thank you. Six, Michael. Yeah, our time got this has improved in many countries. Countries. Power, fairness, or money. What do you choose? Justice. And the synonym for it is? Okay. Power. What is power? Power is lust, right? Fairness, justness. And money, dingy. Power, fairness, or money. What do you choose for justice? Uh, and uh, how, how do you say all time justice? Uh, how, how to say it? Justice, справедливость. Uh, justice, uh, I, I don't know, uh, all time. Uh, Our time, yes. Is there, uh, it is near uh, the time. Over time. In the course of time. Через некоторое время. Справедливость для женщин uh, has improved in many countries. Улучшилась во многих странах. Со временем. Yes, со временем. Fairness is честность, справедливость. So justice and fairness are synonyms. Fairness. Okay. Number seven, Tatiana. The crowd toned down their chairs in order to hear the music. Yes. Shouted, reduced, or sent. Oh, what means reduced? Прекратить, сделать меньшим, уменьшить. Oh, maybe it's reduced. Yes, you're right. So, uh, reduced is the correct word, is the correct synonym for this word, toned down or reduced. Good. Next exercise, choose the correct word of the list, from the list to complete the following sentences. Roots, floats, fasted, amusement park, exclusive, balcony, extravagance, significance. So, Michael, start the first one. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, 
the balcony of the works prepared with many At the amusement park, it's at the amusement park, we watched the parade with many floats. Oh. With many floats. Good. Tatiana, next one. Church members. Mm -hmm. Church members. Um, what oh. do you choose? What means fast? Fasted, postili. Church members fasted for this for three days to raise money for the poor. You're right. Next three, Michael. The club was. Club was. The the club was the. Exclusive. Good. Next, Tatiana. Um, Four. So to make bread, open health in America it has French roots. Good. Well done. Number five, Michael. The celebrities which uh, the dancers, uh, dancers uh, from the balcony. Exactly. Number six, Tatiana. The, um, uh, significance. Extravagance. Extravagance. The biggest custom in clothes. Clothes. Well, thank you. Uh, next, Michael. Many people don't understand the significance of the doing our degree throughout our lives. So, what do you choose? <laughs> Significance. Significance, yes, exactly. Thank you, well done. So, uh, Tatiana, what have you learned about uh, this holiday, about Mardi Gras? Was it interesting for you to learn about it? Uh, for me, interesting about uh, Brazil Carnival. Yes, okay. What about you, Michael? What new things have you learned about uh, uh, this holiday today? Yeah, it's the same thing. Tatiana said in Britain, because uh, it's the, uh, uh, this is the main used by this carnival, yeah. um, and uh, uh, maybe I, uh, as I say, I heard uh, something about this, but uh, I, I, I don't remember uh, the story. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to give you the words in Russian and you'll try to translate them into English. Good. So what is English for корни? Tatiana? It's roots. Okay. Uh, Postit. Придерживаться поста. Fasted? Fasted, yes, you're right. Extravagantность. Michael? Extravagance. Extravagance. Yes, you're right. Плохая черта характера, недостаток. Татьяна? Вайс. Важность. Важная черта. Significance. Significance. Окей. Эксклюзивный, Майкл. Эксклюзив. Good. Uh, Vera. Faith. 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 Главный превалирующий. Prevalent. Okay. Справедливость. 
Just a slide. Честность. Fairness. 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 Мешать э, или бросать что-то куда-то. Бросать. Uh, throw. throw and the synonym? To toss. To toss. Yes, you're right. Давать кому-то прозвище. Даб, yes. Uh -huh. А прозвище само по себе слово. Nickname. Nickname. Yes, you're right. Балкон. Balcony. Парк развлечений. Amusement park. Yes, you're right. Uh, площадка для танца на машине. Floats. Floats. Yes. I hope that you have remembered the vocabulary from today's class. And uh, later you refresh it once more. And now here is the link for you to train your dialogue speech. Good? Okay. So you're welcome to listen. Thanks for coming out to see me today. No problem. I was really missing you anyway. I missed you too. Why haven't you tried to come see me then? I've been really busy. Doing what? Working. I would have come to see you sooner, but I've been busy too. What have you been doing? I've been working too. Well, regardless, I'm very happy that you came to see me. I am too. Okay, Tatiana and Michael, you're welcome to read it. Tatiana, please turn on your mic. Tatiana, you can uh, try to uh, turn it off by yourself. Because it's, uh, it's not, not, not really disturbed, but it's like a, a little bit sound. Um, yes. Sorry. It's okay. You're welcome to read the dialogue. Uh, thanks for coming to see me today. Not a problem. Uh, I was really missing you anyway. I missed you too. Uh, why haven't you tried to write to come see me back? I have been already busy. Doing what? Working. Uh, I would have uh, come to see you sooner, uh, but I have been busy too. What have you been doing? I have been working too. Well, regardless, I'm very happy that you came to see me. To see me. I'm too. Good. Thank you. Well done. Number two. Uh, maybe you can uh, uh, try to uh, read it. it. It's not. A, it's interesting uh, structure. Yes, uh, we never use it. Uh, like doing water. Yes. Uh, not what are you doing, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right? Uh, it's like a, uh, how to say, a uh, uh, slang or something like that. Or, uh, it's possible to say doing it. So, this is the communication style, a colloquial English. Разговорный стиль, yes? Mm -hmm. So different thing may uh, occur in this style and uh, it depends upon the dialogue of uh, on which the people are talking. So it is interesting. So we can read the second dialogue. Mm -hmm. Good. So Tatiana and Michael Yeo, welcome. Maybe we can hear it. Okay, sure. I'm really glad that you came to see me. I had to. I was missing you a lot. I was missing you too. So why haven't you visited me? I've actually been busy lately. What have you been doing? I've just been working really hard. I've also been busy. Tell me what you've been doing. Basically, I've been working too. Well, whatever. I'm glad you came. So am I. You're welcome. Uh, I'm really glad that you came to see me. I had to. I was missing you a lot. I was missing you too. So, why haven't you visited me? Visited me? I have actually been busy. What have you been doing? 
Uh, I could get the work in a really far part. I have also been busy. Uh, tell me what you have been doing. Uh, Basically, I have been working too. Uh, well, uh, uh, I'm glad to see you again. So, I. So am I. I'm glad you came. Interesting. I'm glad you came. Yes, you're right. Let's listen to dialogue number three. I'm really happy that you came to visit me. I really missed you a lot. I've been missing you like crazy. I don't understand why you haven't come to visit me. Lately, I've been quite busy. Tell me what you've been up to. I've really been working a lot lately. I've been pretty busy myself. So, what have you been up to? I've just been working a lot. Whatever the reason may be, I'm glad you visited me. I'm glad I did too. Michael and Tatiana, you're welcome. I'm working. Okay. Michael? Let's start from uh, I'm really happy that you came to visit me. It's really neat. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I really miss uh, you a lot. I have been missing you like crazy. Uh, I don't understand why you have come to visit me. Uh, lately, I have been quite busy. Uh, tell me what you have been up to. I have really been working a lot lately. I have been pretty busy myself. So, what have you been up to? <coughs> I have just been working a lot. Whatever the reason may be, I'm glad you visit me. I'm glad I, I did. Yes, thank you. Well done. Good of you. So, uh, are there any questions to today's class? Maybe any remarks or wishes? Mm, uh, yeah, I have a question only about the last dialogue. Last dialogue? Yes, you're right. I'm glad I did too. I'm glad I did too. Я тоже рад, что я встретился с вами. To be up to, no, to no. be doing something, to be busy with something, to be trying to do something, to work on something, to be up to. Uh, it's both uh, with a B, yeah? Yes. To be, up. to be up to, to do something, to have something to do. To be busy with something, right? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Tatiana, maybe uh, you've got something to ask? Uh, basically, it's like um, normally? Normally, basically, yes. Something like that. Good. If no more questions, see you next time. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.